Hi, welcome back to Oso oh Cosmo. So, you've been set up on a blind date. You look good. You're wearing an outfit that makes you look spontaneous, beautiful, and sexy. You're standing up straight. You're making eye contact. You're asking all the right questions. Then it all goes to hell. So what went so horribly wrong? It's probably the guy's fault, but Jackie went to a dating expert to find out. As a single girl, do you ever find that your happily hooked up friends are always trying to set you up on blind dates? And blind dates can be pretty scary. Dating expert Shannon Tebb's gonna help us get over our blind date blunders. All right, so blind dates can be a little unnerving and sometimes you don't know where to start. Like, should I Google this guy? What do you do? Well, I think there has to be that initial communication. Um, you need to pick up the phone and give them a call and set up the, the date. And uh, even like a text message, just get a feel for their personality. Location's really important when it comes to blind date. Where should you have your blind date? I think location is important. Uh, you want to pick like, you know, somewhere that's casual, so a coffee shop. Um, and rather than doing a full dinner, you could do drinks. Drinks are nice, short, and sweet. Okay, so you've gotten a feel for the guy. Uh, you know what he's sort of like. How do you keep that flow of conversation going throughout the date? Well, I think you have to be yourself, and you also have to, you know, have good behavior. So, you know, have great manners, uh, be polite, and also practice active listening. You know, you can ask questions with uh, open sentences so that there's feedback. And just share the floor with your date. Talk about what interests you, uh, fun stuff that was light and fun throughout your day, and just have a good time. The date's gone really well. Yes. It's done. The big question is, do you phone him? Do you text? Does he call you? Do you call him? Of course you call him. Oh. If he's great, uh, I mean, you want to give him some feedback. Let him know you had a great time. It's, men appreciate women that, are sh that share and are open and honest. And, uh, you know, you don't have to wait for that three-day rule. It's about just, if you're comfortable, you had a great time, why not let the person know? And then guarantee there'll be a second date. So, Jackie, I actually have uh, a blind date set up for you today, and I'm hoping you can put these tips to use. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm Marcus. I'm Jackie. I'm Jackie. Nice Come to see. meet you. Oh, thank you. Nice to you. meet you, too. This is a really nice place. Yeah. How did you choose this location? Uh, a friend of mine recommended it to me. Yeah. And another friend actually owns it. <laughs> oh. So uh, they give me a good deal, and they make the cocktails extra strong. So how was your day today? Been nervously waiting for this moment, actually. Oh, you're nervous? No, I said you I was nervous. Oh, you were. I'm all fine now. Okay. Because I'm not like not an all. intimidating person at all. No, 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 okay. not at all. Not yet. Not yet, exactly. We'll see, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, it's really Cheers. nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. Mm. Blind dates don't have to be uncomfortable, and in fact, this one was pretty good. So, go on those dates. Try these tips. Now, excuse me, I've got to make a follow-up call. Hello, Marcus. Yeah, I had a good time too. 